So welcome back to the Seven Mitchell podcast. This is episode two. Seven Mitchell in the building. Miss J in the building. Salute to everybody out there this afternoon, man. I brought Miss J on board with me today because I wanted to talk about something going on in the battle rap community as far as growth and development and some elevation when it comes to some of our battle rap artists, the favorite ones at that. Uh, looking at social media, Tay Rock made an announcement. It looks like he has a battle league coming out called the Mortuary Battle League. It's open for battles right now. It's going down in May. Um in Merlin here in Merlin. They're gonna have cash prizes for each battle. You know, we've had John John the Dawn with the bullpen. We have Geechee Gotti right now, you know, help building the riot. And these guys are in the primes of their own career, but they're finding a way to not only capitalize from a business standpoint, they're helping to expose talent that we've never seen before. What's your thoughts, yeah. Miss J, on Tay Rock getting a new league and just the whole situation with battle rappers in the middle of their careers doing this league on the thing? I support it. I mean, because think about it. You name Gigi, Tayron, John John. They really don't have too many more people to really battle per se. So it's like, all right, start your league, get your talent, start grooming the next wave that's going to come and represent where you're from. It makes perfect sense. I'm so happy for Tay Rock, man. You know, everybody know he's probably my favorite battle rapper. The thing I'm disappointed as he's never really gotten a home battle. Like Tay Rock, yeah, he's, he's, we've never had a URL event here in Baltimore. He, you know, there's never been a a real home battle for him. The situation he was, was supposed smart. to have a swamp at home, right? But you know, that swamp didn't was happen. supposed to have it. That was canceled. Yeah, I thought about that every time I think about like uh Survivor Series and um, stuff like that. Shit. I'm like, hold on, Tay Rock's never had a summer yeah. madness. Nothing has ever come here, as far as URL go. And when you think about Tay Rock, you know, developing his own league, you know, I kind of give him credit for doing it back here in Maryland because even though he's from here, like I said, a lot of his business and support system has been in New York and, you know, because he's been on the road since so young. So I wouldn't have been surprised if he started a league in New York or something. But the fact that he still remained, you know, here with it, you know, I really commend him for that. But. I am a little bit disappointed he hasn't had the opportunity to battle at home. I'm hoping at least one of his last two final battles, he gets at home. I think that would be a fitting way for him to go out and battle rap. Right. Let, right. It, let, it, let one of those last two battles be at home. Dope. Hopefully he can give a smack and they make that happen. Now, the TMBL, the Mortuary Battle League, Tay Rock is announcing that they're going to have males and females on this platform. How important do you think that is to get out the way? I think that's great because a lot of leagues, when they start them, it's just mainly males. They don't even like, you'll get a female here and there and they'll get a name, well, buzz a little bit, and then they go away. So I think Tay Rock, Tay Rock doing this, he'll get some talent. And really, like, groom them and get them to really stick with it. I think he can make that happen. Now, some will argue when we look at the sports side of things, because you and I talk a lot of sports. Some of the greatest players, the worst GMs. Yeah. You look at Michael Jordan, who people arguably feel is the GOAT in basketball. For years, he was labeled as a terrible owner. Is a terrible general manager. He wasn't able to recruit talent. As great yeah. as great as Tay Rock is, as great as Geechee, as great as John John is, um, do you have a concern with them being able to develop and recruit talent? Because my only my only my only concern with Tay Rock would be in this situation is that, and I'm pretty sure he got an eye for talent and an eye for star quality, but I hope he don't look at these guys and expect him out of them you understand what i'm saying like jordan, yeah. jordan michael jordan probably only seen things from his lens and other people could not do that so it's just like it didn't work i wonder how yeah. how that's going to play out when you got people like geechee and john john and tay rock they've done so much are they going to be rating their talent based off of what they're able to do like that's going to be interesting 
don't know. Um, hopefully, Tay Rock knows. I'm pretty sure Tay Rock's probably talked to talked to Gucci. He's probably talked to John John. He's probably talked to Shaka with pit fights because that's Baltimore too. To know like how to like work the picking the talent and not like over expecting like out the gate with it. No, you brought but up like something. actually working and developing it. You brought up something that's interesting to me. I, you know, the Pit Fights platform. If this thing pick up with TMBL, <laughs> the CTMBL versus Pit Fights, or you know some of the other platforms in Maryland, that'll be crazy. That'll be crazy. You know, and if they can stick yeah. to if they can stick to the script and keep it positive, I think that'll really be a big deal because we really get to see a lot of exposure from the DMV. Yeah, because you got pit fights. You, you would have Tay Rock's League. You got uh, Kales with OSBL. You got uh, Do or Die with Henny Man. Yep. And yep. then Fuse the General has Showtime Battle League. Yep, yep. So, Mike is, is working. Oh, CGBL. CGBL is like Merlin and uh, DC. So, it's so much talent that it's like I'm ready to see the talent like the future yeah I'm ready for the future now like the, like the only person I I can say like Baltimore wise that I was like I wanted to really see where they were going to go was Heron okay I wanted to see what was going to happen with him and he ain't really do too much with the Crucible or Battles and Prophet Lady on uh, the Kayshawn dojo. dojo. Yeah, 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 yeah. But but her win is dope. Um, yes. What do you think about you know? And you you kind of alluded to this earlier, but you know, John John and Gichi Gotti, they've already got their foot in the game. Right? John John has been doing it longer. Those guys are still dominant. In their battle rap careers, like they still, even though they're doing the business thing, they still have been putting on dominant performance up to this day. Do you think yeah. this venture may um, transition Tay Rock's um, focus or how he, you know, gives it up to the people? Do you think this may this new venture may move Tay Rock a little bit more behind the scenes, less from battling. Like, what do you think this is going to do for Tay Rock the star? Tay Rock the star, I think, like, if I think about Tay Rock's career, Tay Rock really don't have nobody he has to battle with. Nope. If we think about, like, everybody who's somebody, maybe Lux, but he don't even need to battle Lux. Well, he did that like, in the two-on-two. I mean, yeah, so kind of, sort of. Yeah. yeah, so... Tay Rock can stop battling today and just focus on his league. Well, we know it's not gonna happen, but Tay Rock really, Tay Rock really don't have nothing else to prove about. He's solidified. He's solidified. Yeah. He's solidified. I don't want to see him walk away, you know, career wise, but he can definitely um, make other moves and not feel like he didn't leave it out all on the court. Yeah, I'm a little sad about Cave Gang. I am a little sad with that about like Briz, Av leaving, Briz is MIA, uh, Chef Trez and YK, and some of these other guys that are now supposedly Cave Gang. I don't really know for sure because you haven't heard Tay Rock just come out and say certain people are Cave Gang, but they say it right. So it's like. I don't know. How do you relate the Cave Gang relationship with the new league um, project or venture that Tay Rock has? And do you, how do you relate one to the other? Do you see any comparisons at all? I think people are going to question his loyalty in a sense. Only because, like, the whole thing with Briz, Briz was supposed to battle Mook. You didn't talk to Briz about the fact of, oh, he wasn't going to do the battle. And then you took the battle with Mook. So, um, Av got sick. N- uh, you, none of y'all went to go visit Av in the hospital. I'm looking at so, it from a different lens, though. I'm looking at that concern to some people as being really a, a blessing to others. Like, if that was really the case, and if he's now doing a league now, I'm pretty sure that experience with Cave Gang has taught him 
more about being a leader, more about taking the initiative, being a little bit more proactive with certain things. I'm pretty sure he's learned more from the cave gang experience versus just having, you know, the roster kind of be up and down. So, no, I'm just saying that's what the fan, like the fan point of view, they're gonna think they're gonna automatically think that first. Yeah, but and I don't. I don't think it's going to be hard for. Like yeah, I don't think it's going to be hard for him to change that narrative though. As long as he can present the quality. Yeah. Because people are going to come out for this. He gets the respect where though people are the, some of the best, you know, unnamed battle rappers is going to definitely be coming out trying to get on these platforms. Yeah. Because rock is going to be lit for forever. Yeah. So oh, man, I, I I expect good things. Like Rock's gonna find the talent. He's gonna find the talent. And hopefully he grooms his talent basically kind of how um Geechee and the Riot, like some of them guys have made it to the crucible. Right. Um Bullpen, John John got some of them looks with some of the names, and then eventually some of them made it to URL, so Hopefully, hopefully, Tay Rock has the same success. And plus, times have changed so much. And you think about it, Miss J, everybody in Tay Rock's circle be with the smoke. Like, even down to his girl, you know, Lady Caution oh, yeah. is not Hollywood. Like, she battles, nah. she'll take some battles. So, this platform, even though it's a prob- it might be a developmental platform, People got enough respect for Rock that he literally could put a couple cards together with some like some real names or, you yeah. know, throw a real name battle on the card with some of the developing talent just to bring some traction. But I'm pretty I, sure he could get part, Lady. That's probably what will happen the first uh, the first card. I'm pretty sure a uh, name's going to be on it but, and, and mix it in. But he don't have yeah. to have a whole card full of um Name battles. He can maybe have two name battlers. Maybe you know yeah. one name male, one name female battle, um, and then the rest just because I don't. You don't want to get it to the point of you getting like RBE. Yeah. You know when names, bro- names, na- names. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, saying that, since I brought up RBE, and 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 no disrespect, because RBE, you know, has been labeled the people's champ to some. You know, I love RBE. But what does it say about the riot and bullpen and maybe potentially TMBL if they are successful with doing these um, developing platforms? And there's other ones like I Battle, Trap House, We Go Hard, shout out to them as well. But, you know, just to name these three, um, what does it say about RBE? Because RBE didn't really take this route. And this is one of the things people criticize Rare Breed for not developing their own talent. Yeah, it's like... You basically threw your money at people. That's kind of what RBE did. You threw money at people. You got people to come out. You got the legends to come back. And I'm not mad at that. But it's like, you started your league based off of people that was already established. But you will say from the start of RBE to now, RBE is a successful engine, right? It's a successful yeah. machine. So. I think I look at this and I just see that there's two ways to be successful or there's more than one way to be successful in this game. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? I think that John John is showing that you can definitely be successful in longevity with, you know, the stars that he's groomed out of that bullpen platform and, and Geechee is working on his. So, you know, getting it from the mud, you can be successful at, of course, uh, no mercy trap house. Yeah. They showed that city. We go hard steams in them. They showed that. Um, but RBE letting you know, like, you know, it's nothing wrong with investing in yourself. No, 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 no. Not at all. Not at all. Okay. Not at all. Like, uh, ARP has, you, he's got Cassidy. He got Gag. He got, um, gay males to come back. Like, I take nothing away from that. But it's like, I would have liked to have seen you, like, maybe about three, four guys that you groomed and they could really say that RB, I, I'm RBE. Because, like, show and um, Russell Burr Raw, yeah, y'all were, like, the people on the first two cards. So I understand y'all saying RBE, but it's like, 
have some have somebody that really you can say I groomed that battle. Or I got that, you know, I gave that battle at their start. We are now seeing black young artists, black men become bosses, become um, business owners, brand owners. And, you know, thanks to battle rap, we're seeing these guys become league owners, young black men. Um, who do you who do we credit this to? Like, who who can we really give the props to to say they got this thing rolling? When you really think about it, because this is a big deal, man. You know, battle rap as a culture is already underground, but some guys have felt a way, found a way in this underground culture to, you know, really get legit in a um, sense, you know, and I'm trying to think of like, where did this start from when it comes to like the artists themselves taking it to another level of being, you know, a brand or a business owner? We know about league owners coming in with the bag, but who really started yeah. it when it came to the battle rappers? Was it Arsenal and UW? I think I won't say Arsenal UW, because like that was the first one that I think I was like, "Oh, Ars got his own league," you know, people from Jersey, and then the names that came over there. I, I want to say Ars. But what about Lux and the Lions then? Well, yeah, because Lux and Lions didn't get you goods versus K Shine. So I can't, I definitely can't take that away. But see, even though I was a fan Miss J of Lux and the Lions then, I'm not too sure about the behind the scenes. Like, I don't know if Lux was a, was a actual owner or a partner or just the face. You understand what I'm saying? Like, so I don't I know. I think he was just the face. I don't think that was, I don't think that was actually his lead. Cause I don't, even with some of the interviews I watched with that, I don't remember anybody saying that Lux was the, like the owner. I think he was just a face. Arsenal need to get more credit for that, you know, and you know for setting it. Now, you know, U Dub kind of went folded, you know what I mean, because of business tactics and stuff like that. But you know, I love to see how but, this is panning out. Yeah, but Ars could just the wake up tomorrow and be like U Dub, boom 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 boom, because like even some of the people from U Dub, um, what was the other one? What was the other joint before UW that was like Jersey based? Block City. Block City. Block City you, with Hazi Roo. Right. Uh, um, you had uh, Speed Dollars, J400. And these guys are still active. Johnny Alcatraz is back and out. Yeah. He's battling Steams coming up soon. That's fine. So, so. Uh, Ars definitely did give you some names and some people. Um, real sick, that. real sick uh, came from there. Yeah, uh, real sick. T Top won the tournament that U Dub had years ago. That's how a lot of people yeah. found about T Top. And, and and one of the big things yeah. about all these new developing leagues, um, and, and this is another thing, but by URL and and these guy King of the Dot, they dealing with these apps. YouTube yeah. is not getting that much content. Nope. You see what the riot is doing? They live stream their whole battles on YouTube. Like, yeah, these up and coming platforms, and I think Bullpen has done it too. Yeah, they could take over um, the YouTube streets. I don't know how beneficial that is going to be. I don't know what's more beneficial to them putting, you know, giving their work to the app or putting it on YouTube themselves. I don't know about that. 